Hello guys, welcome to Jola Softwares. Before jump into the topic, please subscribe the Jola Softwares channel and press the bell icon. This is Dominic. I am going to show you how to create simple eShop using Outsy Stems Reactive app. Let's get started. Press the plus icon for creating the new application. I am going to create the app from scratch. Choose the Reactive Web app and press the next button. I am going to give title as eShop. Click the upload icon button for uploading the logo. Here I am going to choose this image. Now create app. Press the create module button. Here is the development platform. Now go to the data. And right click the database for adding the entity. I am going to give products as entity name. For adding attributes use control plus n. I am using name, price, description, max stock, and image as attributes. I am going to add another entity that is category. Here only one attribute name. Now add the category ID to products as a foreign key. To create the web page for products entity, just drag and drop the entity. Now do for the category entity also. It is showing error, let's check this. You should choose the image option in the drop down, now the error was gone. Let us see the web page, for publishing the app you should press the green button. Press the same button again it will redirect to the web page. Here is the products list page and category list page. For adding the new category press the add category button. I am going to add some names. I am adding the category names first because category ID is the foreign key of the products entity. Now move to the products page. I am going to add some products as well. I have some images for the image attribute. The name of the product is Oppo F11 Pro. Price is 15,999. Description is 6 GB RAM and 128 GB ROM and maximum stock is 14. Category is mobile. And save it, same way I added another product. User can search the products by using the search box, it was added by Outsy Stems. Now I am going to change the UI of the products list page, instead of the table I will change this as a galley. For that I am going to pick up the gallery widget from the side menu. Place the gallery widget before the table widget and remove the table widget. And just drag and drop the get products item. Publish again to see the changes. Now it looks like real online shop, so now I am going to add the edit functionality. Click the image you will get the image properties. There go the event choose the on click option. Then in handler choose the new client option. In this action add the destination widget and choose the product details page product details page input is product id get products list current products id and save it now publish this Press again. If I click the image, yes it is going to the edit page. I will change the max stock into 20 and save it. Yes it is working. Now I am going to add one more functionality that is delete option. For that, add one more button. Just drag and drop the button here.
let's change the color. Go to the style property and change it. Now go the properties in on click option select the new client action. For deleting I am going to add server action, click on logic, in server actions click add server action. I am going to give name as delete product. Now go to the data, and and just drag and drop the delete product server action. This action expects ID as input parameter, so I am going to add one input parameter in delete product server action, put the name as product ID, so it will take the data type as product identifier automatically. Now choose the ID as product ID, now move to the client action. I am going to give the same name as server action. Just drag and drop the run server action element, and choose the delete product action. In product ID, type, get products, list, current, products, ID and save it. In addition add one message element for notification. The message is, product deleted successfully. Publish this, we'll see the changes. I am going to delete the product. Yes product have been deleted. But it is not updating in the page. Let's refresh the page. Yes it is deleted. Now I will show you how to refresh the products automatically. Go to the delete product action, and drag and drop the refresh data widget, and select get products item, and publish this to see the updation. I am going to delete the product. Yes it is refreshing the data. Adding the products in the cart, ordering the products we will see it in the next video. Thanks for watching this video, please subscribe the Jula Software's channel and press the bell icon.